Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to Ryan's Premiere Pro and Photoshop Tutorials. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how you can track an object nice and smoothly. So for example, in this video, we're going to be tracking where her left hand is placing the ginger there and where her right hand is also grabbing the spoon. But we're also going to be scaled at about 300% in to match the rest of the clips here. So I'll go ahead and show you guys an example of what the outcome will be so you can see if this would be worth your time. Okay, perfect. So now getting started here, we are going to select the clip. Then from here, we're going to make sure that we're at the beginning and we will make sure that our position and scale are blue turned on. They will add the keyframes for the original. And at this point where she breaks the ginger, I want it to be zoomed in. So I want this to be pretty quick um, motion of an edit. As you can see, we'll add some keyframes. Okay, and then from there, we'll go ahead and add our scale to 300. actually might be a little too much let's see so now we're just going to adjust our scale to the set point that we'd like it to be so about 150 looks great here and we will change the position as well so it is centered as well as raise it a tiny bit here okay so we have our second keyframes here so if we look at the video so far we zoom into the ginger okay now at this point I would like to track her left hand putting down the ginger I don't have too much frame to work with so I'll do my best but I'll do my best with some scaling here maybe I'll zoom in a little bit more and at this point she places it down so we'll go ahead and we'll add a keyframe here on scale and on position. And we're just going to go ahead and first let's find the position. So she brought it over. That's the end of the video. So you have to be careful when you're getting a little close to the edge here because you could get the black bars displayed as you can see there. So, I just want it to be quick, quick, quick motion. And we're working with what we got here. Okay, so let's see how that turns out. Okay, so now immediately from here, I want it to scale back out. So now, where are we in the clip? Let's adjust this so we see where we are. Okay. And you can see how you could kind of turn like an average iPhone clip into something that looks a lot more professional. All right, so once we have our clip of her placing the ginger the best we can, really, um, I'm going to go ahead and see here. Okay, so now she has brought her hand back toward the center. So from here, now we would like to bring it back to its original points, which its original scale would be 100. The position would be 960. And over here would be 540. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how that looks. Okay, so now, as you can see, I would actually like that to come to speed up a little bit. So we're going to drag over the keyframe a little bit more so that way it happens faster. And now from here, I immediately want to start tracking her right hand to the spoon. So I guess we'll leave keyframes here. And from there, we'll go ahead and adjust the scale because I want to 
be following your hand, as well as, of course, we have to adjust here. Whoa. Oh, whoops, I'm on the scale right now. Okay, so let's go ahead and see how that turns out. All right, so she has the spoon now. Now we're just gonna wait for her to bring it back to the center, uh, which in my case, the camera ended up moving. So now we're gonna have to track it in a little bit different in a way of positioning. But as you can see, this is how we are flowing so far. right before she's about to carve into the ginger, I'm actually just going to add some more keyframes and we'll go ahead and keep the scale the same, that's fine with me, but we'll reposition to where she is going to be carving the first bit of ginger. And we'll go ahead and see how this works into the footage that I currently have. Okay, so that should be fine. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we have. Okay, that's actually perfect. So, from there, I'm gonna edit it, and everything's gonna be scaled at the same. But that's one way that you can actually track the objects very smoothly without actually having to cut the clip up into multiple bits and it maybe gets confusing down the line if you're trying to edit. So anyways, if you were trying to track objects smoothly, um, needed help, maybe when it came to keyframes or anything like that, hopefully this video was any help to you whatsoever. If you guys could like the video, subscribe, it would mean the world to me. Leave post notifications on. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. I'm also on Twitter and Instagram, so if you guys would like to reach out to me on those as well, I can always talk to you there. But appreciate you guys watching, and I'll see you in the next one.